Today, in this country, we are having a conversation about police, police violence, the killing of black men, and what all that means. It is sad that this is happening and that every day there's a new incident to cause us to keep thinking about it and talking about it. But it is extraordinary that the American people are having to deal with this every day, whether you're watching CNN or MSNBC, Fox or ABC News, all the news channels are talking about police violence and what does that mean against black people. Many people probably look at that, certainly have looked at it in the past, and they have said that these poor black men are doing bad things, and that's why they are ending up in confrontations with police. Without any understanding of the lives of these poor black young men, part of what has been going on for decades is that poor black people live in communities that suffer from hyper-surveillance of the police. The police are more likely to be in their communities. The police are more likely to arrest them. The police are more likely to stop them even if they're not doing anything. And that is what is so hard for the American people to believe, that you would get stopped and searched and arrested by the police and not doing anything. But this is starting to come out as people are telling the stories over and over again. But this has been the condition, this hyper-surveillance by police making it more likely for people to get a record, to be known by the police, Police, and then once they get in the system, it is almost impossible to get out because of the whole system of being on parole and missing an appointment or, or fraternizing with a person who has a criminal record, getting you right back in the uh, jail, and then going back again and again and again. This is coming to be seen by the American people in a way that it has never been seen before. But why are people in these communities in the first place? That's getting peeled away. People are there because of housing discrimination. They are there because this is the only place where affordable housing can be found. They are there because that's where their families live and people are drawn to being in communities where they are comfortable. The combination keeps people in these low-income communities where they are an easy target for hyper-surveillance and then everything that comes from it. And so as we think about these issues, we have to understand that while you as an individual in this society, as a white individual, you may not carry personal racism, but that does not keep the system from operating in a racist way.